good morning in my last video you have seen what is generate shifting functions and some few examples let us consider the next example the sequence that is 0 1 2 3 4 so on like this that is you can observe that a k is equal to k that is if k equal to 0 i get a 0 which is 0 if k equal to 1 i get 1 which is a 1 like this now let us uh, g x will be 0 plus 1 x plus 2 x square so on like this b equation 1 and multiply this equation 1 by minus x we get 1 we get minus x into g of x which is nothing but uh, x 1x into x that is minus x square 2x square into minus x which is minus 2x cube so on let it be equation 2. Now adding equation 1 and 2 we get 1 minus x into g of x which is nothing but x plus 2x square minus x square is x square plus x cube plus x 4 like this. So, if I take the common factor a x, I get uh, 1 plus x plus x square so on which is nothing but x into 1 divided by 1 minus x. Therefore, your g of x will be x divided by 1 minus x whole square that is bringing this 1 minus x below I will be getting the denominator as 1 minus x whole square. Next, suppose the sequence is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 that is each term a k is 2 then g of x will be 2 plus 2 x plus 2 x square plus 2 x cube so on like this that will be equation 1. Then multiply this equation 1 by minus x we get minus x into g of x equal to minus 2 a x minus 2 x square so on. Adding equation 1 and 2 we get 1 minus x into g of x equal to 2 because all this plus 2 x minus 2 x plus 2 x square minus 2 x gets cancelled. Therefore, your g of x is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus x. So, this is the case. Uh, we can also do it like okay, taking the common factor 2, we will get 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, which is nothing but 2 into 1 divided by 1 minus x. So, likewise for 3 minus 3, 3 minus 3, so that is a k is equal to 3 into minus 1 raised to k, we get g of x equal to 3 into 1 minus 1 plus 1 like that 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 like that so it will be 3 divided by 1 plus x. Similarly if your a k is equal to 3 raised to k then your generating function will be 1 divided by 1 minus 3 x if it is a minus 3 raised to k then 3 raised to k this k is nothing but this if a k is equal to minus 3 raised to k then your g of x will be 1 divided by 1 plus 3 x. Now we will see how the generating functions can be used to solve the recurrence relation. So it does by translating the relation in terms of sequence to a problem about the functions. Let us see first order homogeneous recurrence relation how to solve using generating functions. So suppose one example if a n plus 1 equals to 3 a n with a 0 equals to 2 for n greater than or equal to 0. Now given this recurrence relation can be written as a n plus 1 minus 3 a n is equal to 0. That is bringing this 3 a n to the left hand side I get this right hand side 0. Now let us consider the general uh, generating function g of x equal to a 0 plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square plus a 3 x square let it be equation 1. Now multiply this equation 1 by the coefficient of the lower term which is a n that is here minus 3. So therefore multiply this equation 1 by minus 3 x we get minus 3 x g of x equal to minus 3 a 0 x minus 3 a 1 x square so on like this. Adding equation 1 and 2 what we get here is 1 minus 3 x into g of x equal to a 0 plus in this I take the x common factor then a remaining will be a1 minus 3a0 plus x square into a2 minus 3a1 a so on like this which is equal to a0 plus x into now this a1 minus 3a0 is nothing but if I substitute n is equal to 0 so what I get in this equation will be a1 minus 3a0 so which is nothing but it is 0 therefore x into 0 plus x square into a2 minus 3a1 is again 
if I put n is equal to 1, I will get a2 minus 3a1, 3a1, which is again 0. Therefore, on the RHS, I remain, uh, the remaining term will be just a0. Therefore, your g of x will be a0 divided by 1 minus 3x. And given that a2, a0 is equal to 2, therefore, your g of x, which is nothing but a of n, is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus 3x. Now, that is 2 divided by 1 minus 3x, I can write it as 2 into 1 divided by 1 minus 3x. So, this is nothing but 2 into this 1 divided by 1 minus 3x is nothing but 3 raised to n, which we have already seen in my, in, in the previous uh, exercise, uh, which is uh, nothing but 2 into 3 raised to n with n greater than or equal to 0. So, this is your nth term. Likewise, let us see how to solve the second order homogeneous recurrence relation using generating term, generation function, generating functions. So, suppose a n plus 2 is equal to 5 a n minus 1 minus 4 a n with a 0 equals to 1 and a 1 equals to 2 for on n greater than or equal to 0. Now, this given recurrence relation again I have to bring all the terms, uh, lower terms to the left hand side. So, it will be a n plus 2 minus 5 a n plus 1 plus 4 a n equals to 0. Let us consider the general generating function g of x equal to a 0 plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square. So, on let it be equation 1. Now, multiply the equation 1 by the coefficient of the immediate lower order term that is minus 5 x. So, multiply this equation 1 by minus 5x and we get minus 5x g of x equal to a0 into minus 5x. So, minus 5a0x minus 5a1x square. So, on let it be equation 2. Then, multiply equation 1 by the coefficient of the next lower term that is 4x square. We get 4x square g of x equal to minus 4 a 0 x minus 4 a 1 x square so on equation number 3. Adding equation 1 2 3 we get 1 minus 5 x plus 4 x square into g of x equal to a 0 plus x common a 1 into minus 5 a 0 plus x square into a 2 minus 5 a 1 plus 4 a 0 plus x cube into a 3 minus 5 a 2 plus 4 a 1 so on which is nothing but a 0 is 1 plus x into a 1 is 2 minus 5 a 0 into that is 1 which is 1 minus 3 x. Now this g of x is nothing but 1 minus 3 x divided by this uh, 1 minus 5 x by 1 minus 5 x plus 4 x square which is nothing but if I factorize this, I will get as 1 minus x into 1 minus 4x. So, by using partial order, so you, I can write this as a divided by 1 minus x plus d b divided by 1 minus 4x. That is 1 minus 3x is equal to a into 1 minus 4x plus b into 1 minus x. Now, I want to make one of the, the terms associated with a and b as equal to 0. Suppose I want to make b as 0, I put x is equal to 1. So, putting x equal to 1, I get 1 minus uh, 3 equal to 2 minus 2, which is equal to a into 1 minus 4, which is nothing but minus 3a, which implies a is equal to 2 by 3. Now, this uh, coefficient of uh, the multiplication of uh, 1 minus 4x, if I want to make it 0, then x will be equal to 1 by 4. Therefore, putting x equal to 1 by 4, I get 1 minus 4 into 1 by 4. That is, 1 minus 3 by 4 is 1 by 4, which is equal to b into 1 minus 1 by 4, which is 3 by 4, which implies b is equal to 1 by 3. Therefore, your g of x, which is a n, is equal to a divided by 1 minus x, b divided by 1 minus 4 x becomes 2 by 3 into 1 minus x plus 1 by 3 into 1 minus 4 x, which is nothing but 2 by 3 into 1 divided by 1 minus x plus 1 by 3 into 1 minus 4 x. And we know that this uh, 2 by 3 into 
plus 1 divided by 1 minus x is the generating function for 1 plus x plus x square so on and this 1 minus 4x is a generating function for 4 rise to here that is uh, 1 plus 4x plus 4x square so on like this therefore your an will be equal to 2 by 3 into this is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 3 into 4 raised to n which is nothing but 2 plus 4 raised to n divided by 3 with n greater than or equal to 0. Thank you.